This is Warsaw calling. This is Warsaw calling all the free nations. My name is Robert Hawkins, and I am an American war correspondent broadcasting from inside the heart of the besieged Warsaw. What I am about to tell you is a story. A story of ordinary men and women all across Europe who have stood up to Nazi tyranny and oppression. For four years, I have traveled with these remarkable people. Partisans, freedom fighters, and home armies. I have lived with them, fought with them, and seen the sacrifices they've made in the name of freedom. I have documented their stories, and now they must be told. This is a story of resistance. Come on! Move! I didn't think it would be this bad! It'll get worse before it gets better. We must get back on the barricade. Come on! We must help! Hold the line! Here they come! Attack! Oh, Hawkins, to the barricade! If it moves, kill it! my friend. And some skill with a firearm for a writer. I was in Spain for a time in 38. And there was France. France? That's a story for later. Come on, Hawkins. We haven't got all day. Let's go. This way. Voices from the underground, right? You went through my things? I'm just jotting down some thoughts, observations, really. Oh, words can be used as a sword that cuts both ways. Mind you remember that in your observations. This is my mother's homeland. I'm mindful of that every moment I'm here. <laughs> That's good. Rosetta Hawkins, you're late. The Germans aren't on our timetable. Better late than not at all. A policy of your President Roosevelt, I believe. Okay, we are taking St. Cross Church. We will take the Nazis by surprise from two points of entry. Are you in? Consider it done. Can I take Hawkins with me? No, I have another job for him. We need at least two entry points into the church to catch the enemy off guard. I'll see what I can do. That tunnel will bring you close to the school, while this route is the quickest to the station. Get some new gear from Kowalski over there, and good luck. We'll meet later. Kozera, I need you to take a small team of men and ambush that Nazi convoy. You must stop it from getting here. Count on it. You two, you're with me. Let's move. Yes, sir. Which do you prefer? My thoughts exactly. You will not be disappointed. Ist wohl die Müdigkeit. 
Was ist hier los? Verteidigung gesprochen! Ich hab... There's a shortcut you can take. Now go, son. On your way. You know Cosera? Know him. He was raised at the Paris orphanage. <laughs> now go with God. All of you. There's a metal grate, which will lead to the catacombs and then to the church itself. We need to look for a lock. Let's go. You too. You're up. You know what to look for.
Kontaktpunkt! Wir werden angegriffen! Are we ready? Yes. I want to thank you. You're proving to be a huge asset to our cause. Like I said, we're all in this together. Indeed. We have two teams stationed. One near the exit from the catacombs, second by the side church wall. You can join Ida and play first fiddle. Cosetta is already waiting for you. I'll get to it, sir. Hawkins, this church is very important. Not only for its strategic value, but as morale booster. To show them and we can fight and win. I write for a living. I know how this works. We'll do our best. Godspeed. I hear you're quite the partisan. And I hear you're quite the ungodly scoundrel. <laughs> I see you met our parson. A good man. Good. The men are in position. This way leads to the church where we will detonate the explosives, and this to the catacombs. We found the grate leading inside. Pick one. Let's go! man of words became such a passionate resistance fighter. Been a bit busy lately. <laughs> yes, but uh, I want to know these things to uh, understand. I was in occupied France. It was June 24th, 1940. It's a day I'll never forget.
Because of my anti-fascist journeys, I was already an enemy of the Nazis, and people were being killed for a lot less than that. So my photographer and I were making a run for the Swiss border. And that's when things took a fateful turn. This isn't good. They're rounding up the resistance, and our contact, Josefina Brock, she's the one being loaded into the truck. Go! Get in the truck! Move now! In the truck! Move! Move! No, 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 no. this is all falling apart. Without our break, there is no chance of us escaping to Switzerland. She, she, she knows the land as the contacts. We should turn back. This is too dangerous. No! There's no turning back. No, no, please! We have done nothing wrong! We are innocent! Please! Fire! Please. We must go now. We must get away from here. No. I'm going in for a closer look. What? No, 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 you fool! C come back! If I don't find this Albrock fast, then Dubois is as good as dead. Ach, du bist so ein Schwächling. Niemand wird jemals erfahren, was hier geschehen ist. Eine Armee zu besiegen ist eine Sache. Aber das hier sind Zivilisten. Nein, das sind Widerstandskämpfer. Ja, diese Partisanen sind verrückt. Kämpfen mit Mistgabeln gegen Panzer. Irrsinn. Bald ist alles vorbei. Was zum Teufel? Oh! So, this Hauptmann Brunin has Obrock. Was ist hier los? Sie sind hier! Verdammt! 
Munition!
Kastenbaum, bitte melden. Hören Sie mich? Good. The HQ is close. Kastenbaum, bitte melden. Hören Sie mich? 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 Was zum... Partisanen! Oh. All right, Hawkins. From here on, the only way you and Obrock are getting out alive is if you kill every damn Nazi you see. Da drüben! Was ist hier los? You are Robert Hawkins, yes? Yep. And where is this Dubois? Uh, we'll find him hiding behind a rock soon enough. Hey! Do we still have a deal? Perhaps. Hey. Hawkins! Oh, thank God! Josephine here is gonna take you to the Swiss border, as we agreed. Hey, uh, my camera! There aren't any stories in Switzerland, Dubois. You go. The camera stays. What are you going to do? I'm staying. I finally found my next big story. I'm gonna cover the resistance movement from the inside. I've got the ultimate scoop with guaranteed front-page headlines. So that's it, huh? We're all here fighting for your pleasure, your career. Listen, sweetheart. We all have our reasons to fight this war. If the end result is defeating the Nazis, then who cares how you come to the fight? Perhaps. But if I die, I know it was for the cause I believe in. Can you say the same? Well, we were all something before the war. 
Yes. What about you? What did you do before all this madness? Oh, I was lonely accountant. Really? Yes. I ran the odds every day on how my company would survive the Nazi takeover. Finally, I had enough, and that is when I joined... The Germans are counter-attacking! All right then, bean counter. What are our odds today? As usual, we are fucked. Parkinson, take a sniper position in one of the towers. You, you're a spotter. Go! Come on! Set out explosives, barrels, and ammo crates on the street. One hit, and boom! Watch for the snipers. They've been hitting us hard. Was close. Great shot! Over here. Check your men, your ammunition. This isn't over. Jesus, I don't know how much more we can take of this. We will take everything they throw at us. This church cannot fall. Where are our reinforcements? They are pinned down a few blocks from here. <sighs> All right. We need to get ready for... Stuka! Get it. <laughs> so, your story in France was so rudely interrupted. 
I want to know about this attack on the Nazi train. How did you manage this attack? This is where we part ways. Switzerland is this way. Your train is that way. Please, come with us. The war doesn't need any more dead heroes. Ha! Nope. Nope. I said I'm gonna take out that train. I'm gonna take out that train. Don't fuck this up, newspaper man. Yeah. Good to meet you too. Goodbye, my friend. Hey, shit! <laughs> Oh! 
Please die!
Hier, the gate, open it. Der Feind hat sich zurückgezogen. I took their pictures, and I had just begun to fight their fight, but at that time I had no real understanding of these resistance fighters and what drove them to risk everything for their cause. It was a mindset I couldn't relate to. For me, at that time they were just a great story, nothing more. This is Warsaw calling. This is Warsaw calling all free nations. Today is the 37th day of the uprising. Although we continue to hold our ground, the city of Warsaw is becoming a ruins. Today, the German Luftwaffe dropped a leaflet that says, unless we stop fighting immediately, they will destroy the entire city. Now, despite our heavy losses and the lack of expected help, the people's determination to fight till the last man or woman is as strong as ever. This is Warsaw. Is everyone all right? Yes. Yes. <coughs> what the hell was that? An unexploded bomb. <laughs> God is smiling on us today. The home army is about to retake the past building. We need to join them. But first, let's soften up the opposition. Grab a Molotov. Ah, good. I'm glad the parts we need are surrounded by a bunch of Nazis. Godzara, dear friend! Well, now we'll let those Nazis have it. Lukash, which way to your commander? Come. Lilivo is on the third floor. <laughs> but if you didn't bring an armored division with you, I wouldn't go in there. <laughs> Damn. Do you have any more clean water? No. I hope it rains soon. No! It is you who does not understand the gravity of our situation. If we do not succeed in taking back Warsaw, and establishing a legitimate Polish government before the Russians arrive, Poland is finished! Finished! So today we attack, and tomorrow we attack! Sir! Ah, uh, Mr. Hawkins, here to report on our victory, I hope. You must tell the world what you will see here today. We will retake the damn building, and then... Sniper! Where is he? Anyone see him? Hawkins, did you see the shooter? Third floor, far side! Go! 
Go! Hawkins, to the attic. We can get at them from there. Snipers shooting from the past. Everyone gets cleaned from the windows. On the roof. See the flag? He's calling for backup. Yeah! Shoot him, Hawkins! <laughs> Wrong flag. Should have been white. Got one! He's dead! Good job. For a reporter. Where did you learn to shoot with a sniper rifle? Spain. It's a long story. Good. I will want to hear it later. There's an armored convoy on the way. The commander wants everyone downstairs. Let's move! No rest for the weary. Supply and prepare Woo! to assault. Twenty yeah! days of spilling blood on the damn ah! building. Ah! No! Ah! Hawkins, we will join the assault, and I suggest you choose a weapon for close quarter combat. This is the PPSH, or Pepecha, as we call it. Let's out the mean spread, but at the cost of accuracy. And this is my personal favorite. Winchester model 1912. So, what will it be? Give me the old faithful. Is that what you call it? <laughs> good name. And a good choice. Attention, men. The time is now. We are going to blow the wall and take the building by storm. We will advance floor by floor until we find their commander and force the Nazi surrender. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Understood. Okay. Fire in the hole! Go, go! Here I go! <coughs> NG-42, get to cover! Down! Down! Keep your head down! Take out that NG! Come on, boys, you're nearly here! Ah! 
Kein zweites Mal warnen! Zeig dich! After my articles on the French resistance hit all the major front pages, I began to enjoy the benefits of the fame. The Allies were desperate for any good news coming out of Europe, and the resistance movement was the only shining light. I caught wind of the Norwegian operation to destroy the heavy water being manufactured and transported out of their country to feed the Nazi atomic weapons program, and I was given full access. All right, men. Just remember, this is not a battle for God, King, or country, or even the man next to you. This one is for something much bigger than all of us, and we simply cannot fail. Understood? Yes, sir. All right. Good luck. After we clear this post ahead, Graustein, you will move to the heavy water plant. Yes, sir. Newsmen, advance to the cable car. I will cover you. Then we hit the power station. Understood. Let's get this done. Let's see what you've got, newsman. Take him out. Screw this up, Hawkins. Hey. Thanks, Ronberg. So long. Now we move on to the power station. The control panel for the cable car should be up on that platform. Throw the switches and let's go! You know, 
I don't need you telling me what to do, Pops. Until you prove yourself, I don't care what you think, newspaper man. I have trained with my men for six months, and I know what each of them will do before they do it. You? You're a liability that could get us all killed. So shut up, and follow my lead, if you want to live long enough to write your precious story. They'll surely be waiting for us, so get ready. Oh, I'm ready. Duda, head to home! Turbines are our objective. You're in the lead now. With pleasure. How long will this take? Lass einfach die Finger von diesem Schalter, bis ich hier fertig bin. Und bitte halt die Klappe. Come <laughs> on. 
That's one! Good! Now on to the next! Done! Our exit. This place is coming apart. Move. Contact. Move. Roenberg was a real bastard, but I had to hand it to him. No one expected the raid on the Oscarburg Fortress. We were low on ammunition and stretched thin, but Roenberg adapted and came up with a plan so crazy, it had to succeed. Move it, newspaper man! The heavy water's been loaded onto destroyer Z-23, and we're going to sink it. With what? Just get us inside that fortress. Shit. Where are you, Roenberg? Okay. You can do this. Quietly.
It's on! In here! Four torpedoes loaded. Get on the periscope and fire on that damn destroyer! This is Warsaw calling. This is Warsaw calling all the free nations. Today is the 54th day of the uprising. The bombing of Warsaw is constant and endless. The brave inhabitants of this once gorgeous city are literally living in ruins. Every bullet, every drop of water is life. This is Warsaw calling. The aid stations are out of nearly everything. Without new supplies, the wounded have no chance. A simple cut can lead to infection and death. I don't understand. I see Allied planes coming in here every day. How many supply zones have we lost? Nearly all of them. Damn it. So, now we go with Dr. Zaminski to his hospital and find a way to help. Find the commanding officer. Right. Through this holy anointing, may the Lord, in his love and mercy, help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord, who frees you from sin, save you and raise you up. Where did they put those bandages? Water, please. Of course. Let me just... I will take care of it. Come. No use standing around here. Rosetta? Vodek? Vodek. Still with us then. This is Robert Hawkins. We're here to help. Good. Corporal Manierka can use an extra set of hands, provided they fire straight. Manierka? That little... You heal, my friend. Let us rout these Nazis. Doctor! We're losing him! Coming! Help! Please! 200. Uh, uh, How many wounded uh, from the last attack? Two uh, men. Uh, uh, Help us, sir. Uh, Let's set him down here. Slowly. You know this Manierka? I know him. 
Well, let's get topside. Finally, a breath of fresh air. Let me go and ask around. Thanks. We were told to report to Manierka. Where is he? The barricade. Seems the Germans are massing for a push. I have a bad feeling about this. Stay alert tonight. The Germans will surely probe for weaknesses all night. I should have taken that dead man's jacket. It was covered in blood. It was warm. That is all that matters now. Johann Dietrich and I were a small part of Operation Crossbow which was a coordinated effort to destroy the V-2 rocket program that was hammering London and Western Europe. Dietrich was an anti-fascist German trained by the Brits for just such a mission into Nazi Germany. Hey, Ryder! You sure you're up for this? I wouldn't have much of a story if I turned back now. The Nazis were taking great expense to hide their V-2 wonder weapons. So we had to confirm that the target was a legitimate factory before the bombers would strike. On paper, it looked like a simple sabotage mission. But nothing inside Nazi Germany was simple. Go! 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 Ich bin sicher, ich habe zwei Fallschirme gesehen. Nun, auf jeden Fall wurde der Spion, den wir gefangen genommen haben, ins Kriegsgefangenenlager gebracht. Und dort werden sie ihn fertig machen. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. The last thing you need is a full alert. Get in, get Dietrich, get out. Quiet as a mouse. Nice. This sound will cover my shots.
626. Heute wird Ihr oberster Offizier, Colonel Williams, wegen Spionage gegen Deutschland exekutiert. Wenn der Colonel seine Männer nicht zu Lebzeiten kontrollieren konnte, dann wird sein Tod Ihnen vielleicht eine Motivation sein. Ende der Durchsage! Ah! Wurde jemand getroffen? Stand a better chance in the dark. I'll stay. Dietrich! Dietrich, you here? Here, you'll want this. They have the radio transponders. You get the one in the Commandant's office. I will find the other. Hawkins! Thank you. You're welcome. the second transponder. Good. I've got the other one. Let's get out of here. Disable the alarm systems and keep it quiet. See you on the other side. Good luck. Jemand? Ah! 
des aerodynamischen Tests wurde um eine Stunde verschoben. Jeder bleibt auf Position. Systeme werden abgeschaltet. Wann wird die Rakete stabilisiert? Eine Stunde. Dietrich. Dann werden die Kriegsgefangenen hier sein. Wir brauchen Hilfe, wenn wir diesen verdammten Zug entladen wollen. Ich verstehe nicht, wieso wir die ganze Arbeit machen müssen. Warum lassen wir diese erbärmlichen Kriegsgefangenen denn am Yes, those breaks will hide my shots. Impressive machine. Achtung, Achtung! Countdown des V2-Raketenstarts wird fortgesetzt. Tankmannschaft sofort zur Abschussrampe. wenn du den Scheiß hier überleben willst. Du zahlen, Spion! Damn it, Dietrich. Hold out until I can get to you.
I'll finish what you started, Johan. You have my word. Alarm! Alarm! Das Langstreckenradar zeigt feindliche Bomber im Anflug. Kampfflugzeuge wurden ausgesandt. Bemannt die Flugabwehrstationen. I'm running out of time. Shit. Damn it. The bombers may not hit this area. Okay, Hawkins. You can do this. Now to set it off. Here goes nothing. Disappeared back into the shadows. 
I was already deep behind enemy lines. I could have gone west into the safety of the advancing Allied armies, but instead I headed east to Poland, to Warsaw, where the greatest resistance battle of World War II had just begun. This is Warsaw calling. This is Warsaw calling all the free nations. Today is the 62nd day of the uprising. The end of the Nazi Reich is at hand. Many here in Warsaw may not live to see that bright day. But I have no doubt our struggles here have brought that day much closer for all the world. This is Warsaw calling. Robert Hawkins. Signing off. I'm with the home army. It's safe. Thank you. Thank you. Get to the river. The evacuation has already started. Yes, of course. Thank you. Kozera, 
Hawkins, you're alive. Surprised? Always. Come, the river is close. Gas rein, treibt sie raus! Shit, come on! Move, don't stop! <coughs> Shit! In here. We're supposed to wait! 